Hello and welcome guys, this is iPlay4K, iPlay4K.com and in this video today I decided to go ahead and show you Stalker Call of Chernobyl running on crazy fast laptop by MSI GT83VR that is equipped with two GeForce GTX 1080 video cards and SLI. The laptop will be crazy overclocked and uh, the CPU uh, crazy overclocked. GPU crazy overclock and VRAM crazy overclock to the maximum and stable frequencies and I'm going to show you this is the 4k resolution 3840 by 2160 I'm going to show you 4k AK and uh, 1080p but 1080p doesn't make any sense when you have two GTX 1080 Pascal GPU architecture full not coded version in your laptop or desktop the settings will be maxed out as you can see guys anti-aliasing will be off this is the only one thing that will be off everything else will be maxed out as again stalker call of chernobyl this is kind of mode uh, but i created the video tutorial how to run this game as a standalone game without uh, stalker call of prepaid and uh, go ahead and check it out over the iplay 4k youtube channel guys this is the 4k resolution as you can see gpu scalability below 80% so it's not cool this is the area with the polter gates guys this is real showcase this is not the walkthrough uh, iron forest anomaly as you can see crazy crazy FPS crazy GPU scalability just joking GPU scalability suck as you can see below 90% which is suck I don't call it crazy and but GPU is overclocked by 45 megahertz extra and uh, VRAM is overclocked to 11,000 megahertz which is 11 gigahertz by 1,000 megahertz extra and the CPU is overclocked core 1 core 2 to 4.5 gigahertz in a laptop guys and core 3 core 4 to 4.3 gigahertz Voltage will be uh, 1.26. Running during the summer hot day, I shut down the AC, so the temperature is 78 Fahrenheit. This guy cannot see us, it's an anomaly for those who didn't play any Stalker Call of Prepaid or any Stalker series. But he cannot see us, but he can hear us. But I'm kind of Here we go, it's easy to kill him like that guys. This is how you do it. 140 FPS guys, 4K running on the laptop, 2 GTX 1080 and SLI activated. Crazy fast. But scalability suck. But still enough FPS for 144 Hz. Uh, 4K monitor or 120Hz 4K monitor as you can see very enjoyable experience doesn't lag at all it's running sm silky smooth guys like almost like on a single GTX 1080 I don't uh, don't see any difference don't feel any difference while I'm playing it. this is this location let me real quick go ahead and switch it to AK So I'm gonna go ahead and switch it to AK and I'm going to go ahead and switch to King AK which is 8,182 pixels by 4320 I'm going to go ahead and apply this maximum possible visuals guys AK resolution stalker call of Chernobyl without any mode it is a mode but it's running without any visual modes the way it was downloaded from the moddb.com so it's running without any modes AK resolution maximum visuals on the laptop MSI GT 83 VR 7 RF guys equipped with the two GTX 1080 look at that FPS about 40 FPS I'm recording with the shadow play so please add 5 FPS to the right top so pretty much 45-50 FPS average amazing during the day guys VRAM usage is below 8 gigs 
So it's 72, 64 megabytes as you can see. 8 gigabytes or 8,000 megabytes is the total VRAM frame buffer per video card, per GPU. Each GPU requires its own VRAM. DirectX 11 maxed out guys, amazing. Sometimes dropping to 38, 39. Temperature on CPU right now is 89 Celsius, 85 Celsius, but CPU doesn't have any cooling except the cooling system by Cooler Boost by MSI that built in into the MSI GT83 VR laptop and is physically pushed on the keyboard. It's noisy, but oh Jesus. Bloodsucker. This is not nice. 45 running. Silky smooth, guys. I can play it like this. I feel smooth. It's like it's enjoyable experience at, at 45 FPS. Running silky smooth, guys. It's going to be a little bit a slower for you during the recording because Shadowplay has some issues to record AK resolution videos, but 4K is going to run smooth. Please watch this video on 4K resolution monitor to feel the difference. And we're about to switch to 1080p, which is nonsense when you're playing with 2 GTX 1080 or 2 GTX 1070 or faster video cards. Keep that in mind. 1080p resolution kind of suck. So I'm going to go ahead and switch to uh, let me real quick go ahead and see it because the user interface is so small and it's not Radiant Stalker, uh, Stalker, uh, Call of Chernobyl, Call of Prepaid, any Stalker series. But just because I have huge monitor, I can see it and it's visible to me. But I'm playing like 15 meters away on the couch and you know it's kind of hard. Here we go. Here is the FPS. We're going to go ahead and say yes. I'm going to apply the new values. Because again we're running everything maxed out guys. Everything maxed out. Let me readjust the MSI afterburner. Somehow Stalker Call of Chernobyl crashing for me and it's not because they're overclocking as you can see 45 megahertz on the GPU overclock 500 megahertz on the VRAM which is you gotta multiply by 2 1000 because 11,016 megahertz are VRAM as you can see frequency and GPU boost is incredible 1885 megahertz which is almost 1900 megahertz for the laptop 2 GTX 1080 and SLI amazing and a small unit it's not doesn't look bigger than MSI Dominator that comes with this single GTX 1080 kind of same chassis guys keep keep same chassis so keep that in mind I'm going to real quick go ahead and reduce the font I'm not that crazy yet oh yeah let me show you the uh, IDA 64 version 5.880.4000 as you can see here is my crazy core 145, core 245, core 343, core 443 multipliers I'm going to guys release the video tutorial how to overclock your um, core i7 uh, 5th generation, 6th generation, 7th generation and 8th generation in a laptop over the iPlay 4K YouTube channel Go ahead and check it out. It's going to be amazing. I'm going to show you step-by-step -step tutorial for any kind of uh, users, for beginners or advanced users. All right, let's go ahead and have a look, shall we? As again, you don't want to run it at, as you can see, maxed out. You don't want to run it 1080. That anti-aliasing was off. 1080p with anti-aliasing or without anti-aliasing, it doesn't matter the scalability will be lower than to run this with the single GTX 1080 so you can see FPS same as I'm, I was running at 4k resolution so it does make no sense GPU scalability which is the second value 28 32 percent 30 percent per GPU 1 GPU 2 is kinda suck and you can see even GPU 2 
almost went to the idling mode running right now to 1557 megahertz so it's not utilizing the gpu and nvidia drivers thinks it uh, thinks it needs to go to idling mode the vram usage below 2 gigs or below 2000 megabytes okay uh, real quick maybe 7k resolutions shall we I'm just curious, can we run 7K at 7094 by 3741, which is the king 7K resolution, almost 8K, 16 divided by 9 aspect ratio resolution. I'm just curious, can we run it at 60 FPS and above with the 2 GTX 1080? Don't you guys? I think we will be, but I'm just curious. Okay, let me readjust real quick the font. Wrap up at this video, guys. Keep in mind that Stalker Call of Chern uh, Chernobyl mode walkthrough is coming by me. It's going to be a different episode with a different type of hardware. And I'm just going to show you what you are capable of. Pretty much it's going to be equal performance to Stalker Call of Pipit. The latest and the, the modest Stalker series game. And in Stalker Shadow of Chernobyl, your FPS will be even higher at the default game as again, without any modes. So, look at that. 64, 55, 61, 65, yes. Above 60 FPS, 7K resolution. And very comfortable, man. 72 even oh my god it's 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 cranking so nice 99 percent gpu scalability excellent so 8k and 7k resolution gpu scalability will be excellent guys above 90 percent which is above 90 percent and that's why i call excellent i call good but above 95 percent i call excellent guys and it is excellent 99 percent almost as you can see it's just beautiful Look at those shadows, dy dynamic shadows, sun shafts right now, and still nice. Lens flare, beautiful FPS. You're going to enjoy, guys, if you're going to play Stalker Call of Chernobyl or Stalker Call of Pipet or any Stalker series games, uh, vanilla versions uh, on a laptop or desktop that is equipped with the two GTX 1080 video cards or higher. 2 GTX 1070 guys in SLI will show you about half of the FPS. I would say one third of the FPS, not half, but one third. So 30% lower. As again, you gotta add five FPS to the right top because I'm recording with a shadow player today, but that's pretty much it guys. Beautiful, I mean, it's just beautiful. All right guys, that, that's it. I guess we're going to go ahead and wrap up. Thank you so much for watching. Today you watched Stalker Call of Chernobyl running on a crazy fast laptop which is the MSI GT83 VR that is equipped sometimes it's called MS-1815 which is equipped with a crazy two GTX 1080 video cards and SLI and just just beautiful laptop very expensive but beautiful has few cons but if you have a headphones it's, it's good to go very overclockable too this is stable frequencies 4.5 gigahertz core 1 core 2 and uh, core 3 core 4 4.3 amazing and with the hyper trading so HT was on this is amazing running stable and fast guys yes it's getting 99 Celsius and CPU sometimes at lower resolution but AK 7k resolution it's kind of alright and almost at any games and it's playable on this crazy overclock and you're gonna squeeze about 3-5 fps by overclocking your cpu to this values as again cpu is i7 7920hq very fast hit that like button a lot of money time energy was invested into this videos guys i'm going to create a playlist for you for msi gt83 vr laptop and go ahead and watch the videos all kind of videos and if you're interested it's going to be nice videos to see for you as again subscribe share it with your friends and i will see you till the next time i play 4k till the next time peace